Because what what is happening to Bud Light is every single red-blooded American, every single redneck across America, and I love them because they're my friends, are canceling Bud Light. And they're canceling Bud Light, one of their own, because they are so fed up and angry about it. You see, a lot of corporations are always worried about being attacked by the woke mob. The real huge group of consumers you should be afraid of is the right mob. Those are conservative Americans that once they've had enough, they will cancel you so hard and they don't care who you donate your money to. They will cancel you so hard and they'll never come back. Well, the evidence for Anheuser Busch's stock implies that it's not having much of an effect. But um, but I love her reference to the right wing mob. We know what they're already doing. They're going into stores and trying to destroy the beer. They're shooting it with machine guns. It's a threat of violence, and she knows that. That's why she's making it. But I also love that it's Marjorie Green delivering the message, because if it was any other right wing grifter, they would have the just the minimal brain to use a different term for what they're doing. Because they wouldn't want to directly demonstrate their hypocrisy when it comes to cancel culture. But she is so empty headed, so smooth brained that she literally uses the term cancel. The thing that they supposedly hate more than anything else in the world. She's like, no, I'm just gonna go with that. She's being honest, by the way, they are doing what she says she doesn't want people to ever do. And she is openly admitting to that. And making a hundred percent clear the hypocrisy here, Jr. What do you this think? is the beautiful part about the, you know how open and access, how open everything is with access to information and people putting out anything they want to say. Because she says all this stupid stuff, people push back on it, point out the hypocrisy, the dumbassery, and the breaking of bottles in the middle of a store and getting arrested over it, or shooting up things that you already bought. All that is exposed, so they have to take it to the next level. Because again, all this is is a clout chase. So I have to prove to my idiots. Again, my rednecks who I love because I love them because they're rednecks and they're my people. In order to do that, you have to continue ratcheting it up to a higher and higher degree. So eventually she has to eventually say, yeah, all that stuff we're saying about the woke left mob, we're actually the right mob and we're cancel culture. All the things that they've been saying they hate so much. It only came out because they've run out of things to say of how outraged they are. Now they have to start congratulating themselves and pat themselves on the back and say, you know what we did this weekend? We did what with the left, mm-hmm. we say the left always does. And that's some kind of way of a win. Pete dumbass Hegseth went on his show. I don't know why I did. I think he was filling in for a, 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 a for that uh, one of those guys. He was filling in. He said we went to a ball game. We ordered all these different local IPAs, and then the primetime producers told us that it was actually uh, made by Anheuser Busch. That was a fail. It's, it's, a it's like of- watching a fail video when someone hits himself in the head with a baseball bat, and you go, "Why did you upload that?" Yeah, yeah. I don't. Again, I I understand that I, I'm going to be reiterating this point, but like. From what the right has told us in this years long now crusade against trans people, they started off by saying, no, we we just don't want them to be like destroying the young people or something. Like, yeah, is that is that what your is that your what your war is about? You guys are going around the country destroying random beers because they they acknowledged the existence of a totally issue free trans person. I, like I honestly, we have seen many political or culture war boycotts. This is the dumbest one that I think I have ever seen in my entire life. Dylan Mulvaney hasn't done anything wrong. She was on a promotional beer. Like, can you imagine freaking out this much just because someone existed on a product? I don't, I honestly don't get it. And so many right wingers, I don't think that they are stopping to think about for a second why they are so filled with rage. It's but they have, the rage. they have it. They uh, have it. Okay. Last thought: well, What what is doing this do to save those children? It's going to make them now not be trans. I don't. How know. how does shooting up a bunch of Bud Lights make the kids that you're concerned about then be what you think they should be? I don't know. They don't know. As the people in the chat are saying, impotent rage. That's what they have. That's what they have. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.